Hello, my pantry challenge peeps. I am so excited about sharing what has happened during week two of this pantry challenge. Now, you may be thinking you are in a different spot. You're not in your kitchen, and that is correct. I am in my sewing room because my husband is having a migraine, and so our bedroom is close to the kitchen, and so I'm trying to record this video where I am not disturbing him. So all of you that have my have had migraines before, you know how sound really bothers you. So let's get into week two of this challenge. And I have my notes here to make sure that I am reporting everything accurately. We're gonna talk about the budget that I had this week um, and also what I made every day. I'll show you some of those pictures and some pros and cons that I found for week two. Now, week two for me is January the 7th through the 13th. So that is from a Saturday to a Friday. And uh, this week was, quite honestly, somewhat frustrating to me. And I'll share that in a minute. But I did not, well, I had some pictures and I got frustrated and I deleted some of them. Okay, we're going to keep it real here. <laughs> so on Saturday the 7th, I made... Um, salmon in the air fryer and I was able to use some chicken stock that I had made and frozen in an ice cube tray. That equals about a tablespoon is what I have found. Um, and so I was able to use some of that up as well as some lemon juice that I had squeezed from lemons that someone from church had given us. And again, I had also frozen those in different ice cube trays and again, equaling about a tablespoon. So I was able to use some of that fresh ingredients that I have had stored in my freezer. So that was a win. Then we used up the rest of those scalloped potatoes that I made a couple days earlier in my week one video. I showed that um, and we were able to use that up and then also salad with some homemade ranch dressing and I also made, uh, we had some hamburger buns that were stale. And so I used those to make homemade croutons. And so that was our meal for Saturday. Sunday is a very long day for us with church and responsibilities afterwards. Um, but thankfully I had made in December of 2022, some homemade pizza crust and I had frozen it. And I'm gonna show you that picture right here. Um, I ended up making pizzas that evening and I really need to work on it, quite honestly. This pizza crust is normally very, um, it just rises so nicely in my um, oven. It is tastes wonderful, but something happened when I froze it. Um, it didn't quite have the same fluffiness as it has done previously. So I need to work on that, but it still tasted good. And what I used up, I didn't have any pizza sauce. I used up spaghetti sauce <laughs> for the sauce on there. And then I had some mozzarella cheese that I had purchased uh, back in December. So I shredded that through my food processor and then I used ground beef for the top. So it tasted still good, um, still really nice and wonderful. Um, and then Monday was the college championship game. And so we always have game day food. That's kind of the thing that my husband and I do on college game day. We love having special foods, et cetera. So for that particular day, I made uh, ribs in the oven. And then we had some mac and cheese, you know, that pre-processed stuff already in the pantry so i used up a box of that and then um also made salad we had the lettuce left over that I had already cut up as well as the croutons etc so there's no picture of that again i was a little frustrated that day so <laughs> it didn't get done tuesday i had a meal planned but there's some people from church that have been wanting to take us out to show appreciation for some work that we have been doing for the church. And so they took us to a farm to table restaurant. This is my first experience with that kind of restaurant and it was amazing. Um, I was so just engulfed in all the things that are going around and noticing everything fresh that they grew that I forgot to take a picture, but it was just wonderful. So I didn't have to cook that day. It was a great blessing 
to us to be able to go and have some time of just getting to know them better as well as enjoying a wonderful meal. So we'll definitely be back to that restaurant in the future. Wednesday is a long day for us. So I made what is called an easy goulash. I'm gonna show you that picture here. Uh, basically, um, it was able to use up um, some of that ground beef that I had left over from the pizzas, um, some elbow pasta that I had, some salsa, some of that canned cream of mushroom soup. <laughs> I was able to do that. So I kind of doubled some of the ingredients and it made it more like a hamburger helper type of thing. And um, it was really good. In fact, we had some left over to use on Thursday, which, you know, cook once, eat twice is always nice, right? <laughs> so we enjoyed that for two days. In fact, we have some left over. I'm gonna take that to my mother who's in assisted living and let her enjoy that for lunch later on today. And then Friday is our date night and we were given so many gift cards for Christmas. We were blessed with that. So we were able to enjoy a date night out at Hibachi Place. And so that is what we did Friday night. So used up some of our ingredients on my pantry inventory sheet. I showed, uh, I'm just kind of whittling down what I have left. I still have a great deal of things in my pantry, but I am using up those things quite well. So let's talk about the pros and cons of this week, as well as what, if anything, that I spent. So I did end up spending money this week. Um, I needed to go to Costco to pick up a prescription for my mother and um, I spent some money. Now, my rules were I was only gonna spend money on dairy and produce. However, I broke one of those rules this week. <laughs> Costco is a trap. Um, and so that's something that I'm learning through this pantry challenge that I'll see something and um, think, oh, we need to get this, need to get that, need to get this. Uh, we only go to Costco once a month, thankfully, um, to fill up our our cars. And while we're there, you know, work smarter, not harder. Might as well go in and to go to Costco and pick up some things. So this week, what I picked up is I did pick up some dairy items. I picked up their cheddar cheese in the big block um, so that I could, you know, shred it at home. I also picked up some fresh produce. I picked up some of those small uh, yellow golden potatoes because I have a roast in the freezer that I want to use up some of that and potatoes make it really, really nice. And I did end up buying some lettuce. So I did keep to those three things, produce and dairy. Um, but what I did purchase that was not on my rules is that I did end up buying some more peanut butter because that has been very, very scarce in our area still. And my husband just loves having peanut butter and crackers at night for his snack. So we were getting low on peanut butter and we were getting low on crackers. And so I did end up purchasing those for him. So for this week, I did end up spending um, $51.53. Now, last week I spent $3.00. And this week I spent $51.53. So for the first two weeks, I have spent a total of $54.53. Now, our normal weekly budget has kind of averaged between $60 to $65 per week. So I'm still saving money. So I am saving, uh, for this particular week, I saved $13.47. If you combine week one and two, I've already saved $75.47 because I am doing the pantry challenge. So overall, it's a win, but through this challenge, I'm learning some things about myself that I really wasn't uh, thinking of. I mean, I love Costco and I love going through but uh, ended up buying some things that I maybe, I, if I waited a month, we would have not had it. And my husband really just, that's one of the things he enjoys. So I went ahead and purchased some of those things. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. 
pros, obviously, as I've mentioned here, I have saved quite a bit of money, $75 already. So that is a definite win. Another pro is that I'm cooking recipes that I have forgotten about. That easy goulash uh, was in my recipe book that I got from somewhere, I don't know. I'll put that in the description if you're interested in that recipe. But um, haven't made it in years. And so it was able to, I was able to use the ingredients that I already had hand, especially those cream of mushroom soups. <laughs> and um, so that was great. Uh, another pro is that I'm having to be more intentional in meal prep. And that's not a bad thing. It, it's just taking a little extra time. Um, but it's I'm becoming more intentional, which is my word for this this year, is I'm being intentional. I'm using the things that we already have and not taking the easy way out. So those are all definite pros. Another pro is that my husband keeps commenting, we haven't had this. Have you cooked this before? When's the last time that we had it? So I'm able to create some new recipes or recipes that we haven't had in quite some time. And I'm getting out of that rut of constantly just going to the easy thing. Uh, I'm also learning that by Thursday, when I get off work, I am exhausted. Um, and so having that cook once, eat twice approach for Wednesday and Thursday is really what is, um, is a good thing because typically I would be too tired and we would just maybe order something or go out an additional night. And so this is really helping me have already a plan in place and not have to resort to going and doing fast food or going and, and doing something else. So that has definitely been a pro and I'm learning that about myself. So uh, I knew it, but I'm becoming more aware, I guess I should say. Some of the cons, let's go over that. Um, again, Costco is a temptation. <laughs> I think I need to go to a self-help group for that. Um, and so thinking through that, now I'm fully aware of that and I can, you know, grow from that. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's just that sometimes it's not always the wisest. And so um, I'm learning things about myself through this experience. And as I mentioned, um, I'm learning that by the end of the week, I am exhausted, I'm tired, I really don't wanna do any cooking. So having meals already prepped, maybe leftovers or things in the freezer will really be of benefit and help us <clears throat> eat homemade food uh, that's better than going to a restaurant or going um, through a fast food drive through So. All in all, I think week two went very well. I'm really thankful for this pantry challenge. And now, after this video, I'll be making my menu for week three. So um, it's just great to have these inventories. I'm an inventory person. I like marking things off. And I still have quite a bit on my pantry inventory list, but it is getting smaller. And so I'm thankful for that. So how is your week going? Is it going well? Did you do well? Comment below. I would love to see what you did. Um, how's it going? And we'll just kind of learn from one another. Thank you for being my accountability group. Uh, like I said, I was frustrated this week. Thought, you know, why, why, why? But you knowing that I had made a commitment to you has really uh, encouraged me to kind of get back on it and not to give up. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video, being my account accountability group through this challenge. So until next time, have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.